Keeping track of Docker containers and open ports can be difficult if it were not for containers like Port Tracker. Port Tracker auto discovers services on your system and helps build a map of your network. Let's deploy Port Tracker on TrueNAS right now and demonstrate some of this functionality. Starting on my TrueNAS dashboard, I'm going to want to go over to Datasets and then click my Configs dataset. And I'm going to add a dataset by clicking the blue button on the top right for Port Tracker. I'm going to leave it as generic and just hit save. And then I'm going to go over to my apps tab, go into my dockage web UI and compose a new file for port tracker. Jumping over to the wiki, I want to use the search bar at the top and type in port tracker and it'll take me directly to the page by clicking the results. I'm going to want to click copy on this block of text to copy the compose file. I'm going to click dockage, remove this placeholder, hit control V to paste and then hit deploy. Now that my container is deployed, I can go ahead and click the pill that says 4999 for the external port and I'm greeted with the sign-in page. This has just given me an overview of all the improvements and releases since the last time. I'm gonna click don't show this again. Now I'm on the main dashboard. Looking at the top bar, we can see the port tracker icon here. We can search directly for ports or processes in the search bar. We can see some system information here for the server we selected, which is the server we deployed on our local server. Down here in the bottom left, we can add additional servers. First, let's look at the ports that we've found open. Right now, there's 11 ports that are running, port tracker being the first one, dockage, and then my entire R stack down here. And if I click plus three more ports, it'll expand to show everything running. So within this, I can search by the container name or the port number on the top. So if I search 5055, for example, we can see here that Jelly Seer is running. And if I search radar, I can see that the container name radar comes up in the search with its port. I have the ability here to rename the service within this, or I can click this port and it'll take me directly to the radar sign-in page. Right here on the top right, I can refresh this data in the event that I've taken some containers down or started some containers up. I have the ability here to turn the internal ports off or on. Right now I have them off, which means it's only showing ports that are being held by running containers. However, if I turn the internal to on, I will see all the other ports by all the other containers that aren't running as well, so I can see things like collisions. In this case, if I search for port 3000, we can see here there are three containers that want to use port 3000, which means only one of these can be running at once. Otherwise, when I try and start it, I'll get an error that the port is already in use. If you have any questions about this container, please leave me a comment below. If you want a discussion about this that's much more technical, go ahead and jump on the Servers at Home Discord. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. 